हे गाइज वेलकम टू द पार्ट टू ऑफ सीरीज वेयर बाय वी कवर ऑल टाइप्स ऑफ जेंगो अपलोड दैट इज फाइल अपलोड इमेज अपलोड दैट टू सिंगल एंड मल्टीपल अपलोड्स इन जेंगो एंड एज वेल एज इन जेंगो रेस्ट फ्रेमवर्क इन द प्रीवियस पार्ट ऑफ द वीडियो वी हैव ऑलरेडी कवर्ड द सिंगल एंड मल्टीपल फाइल अपलोड यूजिंग जेंगो एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डू सिंगल एंड मल्टीपल फाइल अपलोड बाय यूजिंग डी आर एफ सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड वील गो इन सेट द फर्स्ट डायरेक्ट्री एंड वील क्रिएट आवर न्यू फाइल कॉल्ड एट सीरियलाइजर्स and we are going to kick off by importing so from rest framework i'm going to import serializers and then from models that is from dot models import both the models so they are fi uh, yes file model and image model so we'll create serializer for our file model because that is what we are going to cover up in this video so i'll create the serializer that is file serializer and this will be taking serializer dot model serializer and since it is a model serializer i am just going to give it a class meta so class meta and model will be file model and fields will be all this serializer will be used for single file upload and for multiple file uploads we have to create one more serializer and that will be a bit different from this one so i'll call it as class multiple file serializer and this will take in serializer dot serializers sorry serializers dot serializer and let me correct the spelling and here we will learn a new concept so i'll call the field as files and this will take in list okay so serializers dot list field okay and inside list we will have a child serializer so it will be called a child and this will be taking serializers dot file field so i have created a serializer called as multiple file serializer this has a field called as files field and it takes in list of file fields so this means that whenever we are going to do the multiple upload we are going to send list of all the attached files in variable called as files for this serializer to serialize it so let's go to the views.py and create view for both of them so views.py and i'm going to do it over here i'll start by creating the file view set i'll call it as file view set and this will give it as view sets dot model view set uh, this is capital s and let me import this view sets okay so that will come from from rest framework import view sets and this class will take in two things that is query set query set will be file model dot objects dot all and it will take serializer class so i'll give this first one that is file serializer this will be the default serializer for it because we have created model view set so it will automatically have all the operations that is get put post and delete now for multiple upload we will start by creating a new endpoint so i'll call it as def multiple upload this will take in self request arguments and keyword arguments and first we'll do is serializer will be multiple file of serializer that will take in data as request dot data or none okay and then we'll uh, validate it so serializer dot is valid 
and we'll throw exception that is a raise exception as true so if there are any errors then it will raise it from here and return it directly and once this is done let's get all the all the files from here because we need to insert it right so i'll call it as files and this will be serializer dot validated data so validated data dot get files okay so what i have done over here right now is whenever a request comes to this multiple upload i send it to the serializer that is multiple file serializer all the request data and we validate it if it has any error it will throw exception from here itself so what it will do after that is uh, it will take all the files validated files from the serializer and assign it to the uh, variable called as files now the same logic we have to use that we used over here so i'll just copy paste it and let me fix the indentation that is also done and we will return with a response success so return response success uh, of course i have to import this uh, response that comes from from rest framework dot response import response so our single file upload is handled our multiple file upload is handled but wait this is not at an endpoint for endpoint we have to specify the action over here so let me do that so we have to add the decorator action and i'll call it as detail as false so detail false and methods will be post so this means convert this method as an endpoint details will be false that is we are not expecting any ids in the url and methods will be only post method allowed for this one and yes we have to import this this will come from let me just quickly copy paste from rest framework dot decorators import action so this is done now we will have to make a few changes in index.html that is because our url is changed now oh wait we haven't created the url yet so let's create the url for this views for that we have to import the router from rest framework so from rest framework import routers and create a default route object of default router so i'll call it as router itself router as routers dot default router and then a uh, router router dot register this will taking the first will be the path name so i'll call it as file and then views dot file view set and we have to append it to this url pattern so i'll do that over here url pattern plus equal to plus equal to router dot urls so after saving let's open our terminal and activate the environment uh, actually vs code already did it for me and let me just list it down okay in navigate inside source and python manage dot py run server and let's try to upload files and yes before that we have to make changes in our index.html file because our url is updated so it will be now file slash for the single upload we don't have to specify anything because this already has a post uh, method allowed so we can save it like this and we can go to the uh, local host and before that let's also do check it like this file so from last time we already have three objects created and let's try to create one more i'll choose a file let me upload this py file and submit something happened for 400 that is a bad request okay i have to change the payload that is in index.html uh, index over here we are attaching it as files 
but we have to send it as file because in serializer for single upload it is model field and model uh, model field has only file name and not files so uh, let me refresh the page and try to do it again submit and it went and preview is it returned with this data okay that is correct and let's check over here there we go a new file has been uploaded yes that is wonderful now let's try to upload multiple files together we definitely know that we have created uh, this endpoint for that but we don't know what the url is for that we have to click on this extra action and you all can see multiple upload if we click on this this is our new url to upload multiple files i know over here in the drf template it is not available to choose multiple files but we can use this to do so from html so let's do that i'll copy this multiple files go to index.html and in front of files i'll paste that because this is what the url is file slash multiple upload and over here i have specified the same thing file slash multiple upload and uh, remember that this takes in files and not single file in the multiple file serializer we have specified it as files right so let's go over here and refresh the page let me clear this and we'll choose multiple files okay so i'll select these three things uh, this is the thumbnail that i created like few hours back uh, we are uploading three files and before that let me show you all how many we have right now we have four okay submit and 200 in preview we got success because that's what we returned and in payload this is what we uploaded three binary files and let's refresh this now and there we go we have our three new files created and in the last video i did not show you all where these files go so let's go to the vs code and over here in media folder you can see a file directory folder and inside that all that we upload goes over here because in models.py for file model i have specified upload to in file directory so that's why everything is stored inside this and if two files have same name it got uh, like renamed and then it got stored so that's it guys for this video in the next video we are going to do single and multiple image upload by using django and django rest framework so make sure to subscribe for that and if you found this video helpful do like comment and share see you in the next one